What's gonna go in your box, Colin? A big, big shell. A big shell. California visiting family right now. We just spent a couple days up in Orange County where my parents live and now we're down in Riverside County visiting Jason's parents, Alicia and Chuck. And the kiddos are hanging out in the backyard right now. Maya, I like your glasses. Thank you. Do you need these glasses? No, they're just fake. They're just fake, but Aunt Karen took the girls shopping at Claire's and they both came home with some very cute but very fake glasses, right? And I got a tiara. And a tiara too, it's very cute. And Annie, you've got your glasses too. I'm the librarian. Shh. <laughs> One of the things that both of your grandparents have in common is they both like hummingbirds, right? Lots of hummingbirds are in their backyard. I think it they left. have a few feeders. It did leave. But who else do we have here besides the hummingbirds? Cooper and Dusty. And who are Cooper and Dusty? Two kitty cats. Dusty's at the bottom and Cooper's at the top. Dusty, Dusty and that's Cooper. Dusty oh, and Cooper. The kitties are out getting some fresh air this morning too. Yep, they're both Cooper. relaxed. Cooper's the one that when we put our hands out um, and he doesn't smell us, then he'll nibble us. He'll nibble you? But it's very gentle. He likes nibbling us and I like him doing it. Once he did it to Colin and then, oh, he, he Colin came out and said, Cooper, give me a kiss! <laughs> Cooper and Dusty are both very cute and very adorable, but Jason and I are both really allergic to cats, so we have to take lots of Benadryl over here and <laughs> stay away, we can't touch them. And over here is all of the kids' favorite part about Grandma and Grandpa's house. The hot tub. The hot tub. We get to swim across it. It's huge. That was the first thing they did when they got here, and we're gonna have to get in it today, I'm sure, because it's their favorite hangout. And I got to teach Colin how to ride on Shamu. On Shamu? Yeah, they have lots of pool goodies, don't you? Yeah. Colin, what's your favorite part about the hot tub? What toy do you like to say is the most inside there? I think you like the squirt gun the best. Yes, he does. They have big, big squirt guns, which Colin likes to shoot everywhere, don't you? Yes. He ends up losing them most of the time because he ends up squirting everybody in the house and the neighbors and the windows and he ends up causing enough damage that he usually loses his work. <laughs> Pretty soon we're gonna do something extra cool because not only do your grandparents live here, but who else lives in town? Um, your great grandparents. <laughs> They're your great grandparents. Great grandparents. <laughs> great grandparents. Grandpa Bill and Grandma Dorothy. And their grandma Dorothy, their great grandmother, has a seashell collection. That's not, it's not any seashells, it's ones that are in the ocean. Like that, big, know. cool seashells. And we're gonna go over to her house and a little bit. And pick some out. And she's gonna share some with you. That's pretty yeah, cool, isn't it? Yeah. She has some starfish. Some starfish, dude? Yeah, that's what Granny said. Go, Scott, your boxes. What's gonna go in your box, Colin? A big, big shell. A big shell, I bet so. Hi. What are you doing? Colin, these are oranges. We don't just take oranges. <laughs> we gotta put the oranges back. Put the oranges back. <laughs> I made you a bag. Here's a bag for you. Here's your bag. Now, Grandpa, are you ready? Ready for what? Oh, yes. We had to draw straws. Yes. To see who's going to draw first. Oh. Right. oh. To be fair, the kids are all going to draw straws so we can see who gets to select first. Okay. The race might be bickering and arguing. Oh, that's a long one. Oh. oh. Addy got the biggest straw. Okay. Wow. Colin, do you want to hear it? Can you hear anything? <laughs> so Grandma Dorothy pre-selected a few really special ones yeah, for the kiddos. And then, and then you can so pretty! Wow, these are special. And these are real? These are real seashells, Grandma? Take that one. Yeah. Okay. And then this one. A sea creature made all the stripes. Those are cool stripes. Yeah. And let's see what Miss Maya got. Let's see Maya. I got that. Kind of a similar Very similar ones? You did get very similar ones. Wait, so this is the first one Addie's officially choosing. Okay, yes. now Maya, you You've been eyeing finish. that one? Any 
more and laying them all out now so they can get a better view of what all the different seashells are, what they look like, and get a better selection. May, what did you pick out for your first one? This. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is shiny. That doesn't even look real. I know, it looks plastic. you see that on the side? Hey, I found a tiny. And Colin, it's your turn. What one does Colin want to pick? That one. Wow. You want to take the teeny tiny one? Wow. <laughs> All right, want to put it in your bag? Oh, you're getting Good a big choice. collection there, Colin. They're all like super pretty and unique. The patterns? Yes. Yeah. Like this one? Oh, look, look at, at that, that one. Oh, that one does have a cool pattern. Oh, look at this oh, yeah. one. That one's like stripes. Stripes on stripes. Look how funny it looks. Look how funny it looks. Oh. Let me see. Oh, that is funny on the inside. Yeah. So how long have you been collecting these seashells? Oh, maybe for 20 or 30 years. 20 or 30 years. And where did you found most of them? Um, some of them were given to me. Some I bought. Some I found at the beach. Oh, pretty it's, cool. Yeah. A unicorn. It does look like a unicorn <laughs> horn, that shell. This one actually does have a cool pattern. This is another one like that. This one actually like does one. have a cool pattern for a unicorn horn. Let me choose this one next. Can you girls hear the ocean inside any of them? I used to always do that when I was a kid. Here's actually a tip. You can actually hear the ocean. I sometimes hear the ocean if I just put my hands like this and put it up to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear the ocean, Colin? Yes. Do you hear the waves crashing? <laughs> what does it sound like? Wow, there's a lot over here too. Look at these. These are so pretty, aren't they, girls? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Starfish. And my teacher, I think Miss Kimber, brought in a starfish so we could all look at it. It was really cool. <laughs> See that one? That one's so neat. That one is shy piece. It's sharp. So when we get home, I we're gonna have to get jars to put these in, and we're gonna take good care of them because these are Great Grandma Dorothy's special collection. Okay. We'll take good care of them, right, girls? Come on, say hello. <laughs> are you done choosing, Colin? I know, I don't. Do you want any more? Well, I think you girls have pretty much finished going yeah. through the collection. There's not much left. Oh, you're Big welcome. thank you, hugs, Maya. Oh, you have such a nice collection. Now. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Here, which one do you want to smell? Do you want to smell one of these, Cooper? Here, see what it is. Hmm. What up? This one. It, it looks like plastic and it feels yeah. like it. It looks like glass almost, too. Yeah, but it it's so like shiny. Glass. Oh, Cooper. Well, Addie is showing off all of her new seashell collection to her grandpa Chuck, and Maya and Colin are showing off their seashell collection to the kitties right now. I think the kitties are pretty impressed by it. Maybe it smells like fish a little bit. I'm a unicorn. You're a unicorn. Now that we have all these shells, girls, and Colin, I think we should try to learn about maybe some seashells, like the animals that come from them, and actually learn about what type of animal lived in those shells. What do you think? Yeah. You wanna do that? It'd just be cool to know like what type of animal came from like this shell. Oh, he me that. Or from this one. Degrees outside, you should have goosebumps when it's 68 degrees. Yeah, you still did. And yeah, the kids tend to treat the hot tub more as like a little pool. They swim around, they dive for things, they squirt water, and it's just like a mini miniature pool. Colin, this is why Colin always loses his squirt gun because he just squirted Jason with his laptop out here. Mr. Colin, no squirting people. Okay, I'm sorry. And then he apologizes and sounds so sweet and innocent. But he's not getting this work on back. Let's do this. Come on, mermaid. We had actually packed the swimsuits for this trip just because 
the kiddos love the hot tub and we knew they'd want to hop in as soon as we got here and then grandma alicia emailed me or messaged me a couple days before we came and said hey the hot tub isn't filled with water just want to let the kids know so they're not disappointed and then when she finally packed their swimsuits already they went and filled it all up for you guys remember that and blew up all these toys for you guys. You'd have lots of stuff to play with. That was awfully nice of Grandma and Grandpa to do that for you guys. I Takes a lot of time. Oh. Baby Maya. Whoa. <laughs> that was quite the splash, Maya. One of Maya's Christmas presents this year was the Go Glam Nail Stamper. I've been wanting it for so long. We saw it at Toy Fair, I think, right? Back in February. I and <laughs> it's been on her list for a while. It was so hard to find this Christmas, though. I had went to all the Targets and the Walmarts near us. I couldn't find one. I actually called my mom and had her check the Target Swamps and RSM. And I almost called Grandma Alicia to have her check the Walmarts out here. But I ended up just finding it on Amazon and I was able to get it just in time for Christmas. All right, Maya, which design do you want to make nails today? Sprinkles. Sprinkles? You're basically going to paint your nails and then you're going to um, stamp them. Wait, so you paint your nails, you let it set for three. Five minutes. Five minutes. And then you, you stamp, stamp them. them. And then you put on a clear gel clear over gel. it. Then in five minutes it'll all be dry. Right, and there are tons of the most adorable nail stampers you can collect. There's like rainbows, we have kitty cats, unicorns. flamingos, unicorns. I think Maya's gonna go with sprinkles you decided today. Yeah. And you also get to choose a color out of pink, pinkish, red, blue, and two shades of purple. For the nail polish below it. Yeah. So we bought the main kit and there are a whole bunch of accessory kits you can buy with all sorts of other fun designs. And it actually works really well and really easily. Sometimes with these types of toys you never really know what you're getting into, but this works really well and very easily. Addie, are you gonna join us too? Yes. Yes, oh goody! I'm cold. You're cold? Well you pick out whatever design you want and the color and you we'll get to see two different examples. What you thinking, girly? Um, I don't know. I'm probably either gonna do blue pink or light purple. I just can't say. And then what do you think about the nail stamper that would design? I don't know, it depends on what color I want to do. Oh, you think this through really well. What about the kitty cat, since we're at the kitty cat grandma's house, as you call her? <laughs> no? With roses again? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we'll take the sprinkles and put them inside the stamper. And we're ready to go. So there's the hole that you put your finger on. So you do your thumbs last. Finger in. And I'm gonna stamp it, ready? Yeah. Next one. And I know it looks like I'm pounding really hard and that it might hurt your finger, but does it hurt your finger? No. Not at all, because it's just the tape that's actually going down on your nails, not anything that would hurt. Right, Maya? Yeah. <laughs> Next one. No. All right, let's see the final product. There they are, your sprinkly nails, Maya. The nail polish color looks like the frosting. It does look like the frosting. You have cupcake fingernails. Yeah. Now, now we have to let that set for three minutes to do the clear cupcake. polish. Wanna go show Grandma Alicia? Wow. <laughs> I was wondering what those look like. Those are beautiful. Can I touch it? Yeah. Really? Oh, that's nice. Right, now Addie's up, and she just said do the kitty cat. For the kitty cat, Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> so kitty cat. Let's see, girly. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Ooh, those look so cute, Addie. We have a bunch of little kitty cats on your nails. Yes. Oh, how adorable. Oh, I love Why them. You have to show the kitty. Yeah, you should. So <laughs> Yeah. Like, I, I was He's playing like, with the hummingbirds right? while I was waiting, and one came from behind my back. So I was like. The hummingbird came from behind your back? Yeah. Well, wow. Okay. Final step. Cool. You still loving this Christmas present, Maya? Yes. It's very cool. It was Maya. worth the hunt. It's very cool. <laughs> the crazy part was that I would go online to like Walmarts and Targets and they would say they had it in stock at the stores. Like one of the Walmarts said they had four in stock and one of the Targets said they had two in stock. And then I'd show up and then nobody could find them. I would look, they'd look in the back and nobody could ever find them. So. 
I lucked out when Amazon had them in stock. Well, thanks for watching. What should we tell everybody to do? <laughs> Subscribe to Tic Tac Toy and Tic Tac Toy Family. <laughs> and you can check us out on Instagram at, you know what our Instagram handle is? Tic Tac Toy Family. <laughs> and we're on Roku now too, so you can we have our own channel on Roku that you can go watch where you won't be interrupted by any other channels. So it'll be all Tic Tac Toy. Pretty cool. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.